So uh, today I wanted to talk about Grindhouse releasing. Um, I have a few other stuff, but I'm just gonna talk about their um, really like deluxe, awesome, souped up editions of stuff. So yeah, controversial Cannibal Fear Rocks. Um, there's a lot of killing of animals in this movie. Uh, I can't condone it. So if you're offended by that, you're probably gonna hate this movie. Um, it's still good. I mean, I love Umberto Lindsay as a director. Uh, it's probably not his best movie, but it's, I, I still enjoy the movie. I mean, minus the animal killings. How they put the chick on the meat hooks by her boobs, uh, that looked great. Um, it also has alternate cover art when you take off the slipcase, so... Um, <clears throat> also the soundtrack. And equally as controversial, Cannibal Holocaust. Um, I have the DVD, the Grindhouse releasing of this. Same thing actually with Cannibal Fear Rocks, but I just couldn't resist getting these souped up editions. Uh, especially like, because it comes with a soundtrack, especially for Cannibal Holocaust, so that was like a must. Um, yeah, so once again, like I said, I can't condone all the animal violence in it, but it's still a really great movie. Like, the found footage thing is so huge now. And this is like probably like one of the first movies that did it and like they did it so well like I don't even think a lot of films don't even come close but I guess because a lot of this stuff was kind of real too right so um but yeah it's just an amazing movie um the soundtrack is phenomenal that's why it's so weird because you're watching like the most horrific scenes and uh you got this beautiful music playing in the background so it's kind of odd, but it works really, really well together. Um, next is Fulci's The Beyond. Um, I also had this on DVD, but it was uh, Seven Doors of Death, in it, which it looked terrible. I actually compared it when I bought this Blu-ray, and yeah, like it never looked this good. So yeah, there's the alternate case for that. And it also comes with the soundtrack too, all these editions do, which is pretty awesome. And next, my favorite, favorite of all time, this is uh, definitely like in my top three slashers. And I'm really glad that I held out for the Blu-ray. Um, I almost bought the Grindhouse releasing DVD so many times and I just kept saying, you know, like as soon as I buy that, they're going to put out the Blu-ray. So I held off on it and I am really glad that I did. Uh, it's got two cuts of the movie, the Spanish and the English version. Um, it has an amazing documentary on 42nd Street. Uh, it's with Bill Lustig, Larry Cohen, um, Lloyd Kaufman, and Frank Henenlotter. So um, that's really, really fascinating stuff. Uh, there's also an hour-long interview with the director, Juan Piquer, who also directed a great movie, Slugs, which Arrow is releasing, I think, at the end of this month. So, it sucks, I just bought the DVD of it, of course. Uh, that's why I try not to do that anymore, I'm trying to hold off on some of the ones that I had DVDs, because I know they're just going to release them on Blu-ray, and you just can't compare, like, those old films on Blu-ray, like, just looks so incredible. But, um, yeah, Pieces is one of my favorite slashers, um, <laughs> it's just awesome. Uh, by the way, there's also an hour-long uh, interview with Paul Smith. He's an incredible actor. I love him. Probably the weirdest movie I've ever seen with him, though, was um, Sunny Boy with David Carradine. That is one weird movie. Um, also, the soundtrack. Yeah. I like this movie is so cheesy, and it's so bad, it's good. Um, I just have like a really special place in my heart for this movie. I actually got to see it on the big screen too down in Toronto one time, so that was really cool. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I held off. I had it actually a cut of it on this bloodbath. Um, obviously it looks like crap. It's a really shitty DVD with uh, actually pretty good movies on it though. Uh, the Devil's Nightmare, Kill Baby Kill, Kiss Me, Kill Me. But yeah, so I'm just holding on to this anyway. But.
I'm glad I held out though for the Blu-ray, so I'm happy. And anyway, thanks guys.